नमस्ते आई एम जीविन दीक्षा सक्सेना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ जर्नलिज्म डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न व्हाट इज न्यूज सोर्सेस ऑफ न्यूज चैनल्स एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न पिटफॉल्स एंड प्रॉब्लम्स इन रिपोर्टिंग इट इज इन इंटरनेशनल कॉमर्स एंड ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड ट्रेड विद अ सर्टन to isolate it and to put it government into difficult international internal situations given that that the effects of the embargo of or often economy suffer from the initiative the embargo is usually used as a political punishment for some previous disagreed poli policy uh, pol policies or acts but its economic nature frequently raises doubts about the real interest that the provision serves although the law of the united state does not prohibit 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 partition in the embargo it does participation in the secondary embargo that occurs accuse that that occurs when one country pressure a business to stop doing business with the third country over issues with the which the business is not directly involved in a in generalism generalism and public relation and embargo sometimes called a press embargo is an an agreement of request that news orga, news organization refrain from reporting certain information until a specified date or time in exchange of in exchange for advance access to the information for ex, for example if government official is preparing to make a short speech announcing a policy initiative at 1 pm the staff might uh, transit transmit extended details of the initiative to take news organization several how uh, hours ahead of a scheduled announcement with a notice indicating that the consent consent are embarked embarked until 1 this gives the news organization organization team to research and prepare complete story that that are the really ready to be published and when the embargo is lifted in theory press embargoes reduce inaccuracy in accuracy in the reporting breaking stories by reducing the initi initiative and and for journalist to cut corners in the hopes of scooping and competitions embargo are typically used by government or corporate representatives publicity or public relation and are often arranged in advance as part of informal ag agreement sometimes publish release advance copies of uh, of a book or informal uh, book to reviews with him in that reviews of it appear before the official release that date of the publication complex scientific news might also require advance notice with an embargo government also have light lightweight reason for the imposing embargo where often so as the prevent news report being an unfair to undue influence of of over votes in the bodies different bodies artist name and the location the perform are sometime embargoed pending the official announcement of the scheduled uh, performance tour sometime publicist will send uh, embargoes press release to newsroom and unsolicited unsolicited in the hope so that they will repeat, respect the embargo date without having first agreed to do news organization sometimes break embargoes and report information before the embargo expires either accidentally due to miscommunication in the newsroom or in intentionally to get the jump of jump on on their com, uh, competitors breaking an embargo is typically considered as considered a serious of trust can result in the sources bearing and 
often offending news outlet from receiving advance information in the failure in the future like sources most sources are not confidential at least in united states most news organization have pol uh, policies policies governing gov governing the use of anonymous you sources critics sometimes cite instances of the news organization organization breaking these policies research indicates that anonymous sourcing undermines credibility however however in some instances journalists may have no other resource whether anonymous sources are used may depend on whether the information is available any other way if getting the information out serves a greater good whether completing news outlet might to do so many news organization require use of anonymous sources to be approved by someone senior to be report to the reporter some also require their reporter to tell senior person the identity when a source is request i request they are referred to as a confidential confidential sources they may appear in articles with the information about why they must be confidential one worker who requested out of the fear uh, retaliation next is as a mass as a mass ma, ma, mass now critics say as a pronounce uh, pron, uh, pronounce some charges that as a passive voice construct it is suspected that cnn has learned that these are the simple example and the articles when they mention next is sometime through re re rarely sources are impersonal or unknown a reporter may sometime receive the complete text on the his doorstep left there by unknown individual sources may also engage in this uh, this this guys and the voice alteration nicknames align says and simply not mention their uh, identity as attempt to inter and as attempt to ensure that the, their an anonymity in the some cases this may be due to in the part of lack of trust between sources and reporters of their news organization in reality few journalists will accept information from an uh, anonymous sources through they may pretend they may pretend to they may pretend to be have done so in order to protect the sources identity or do protect themselves in the case of court later to order them to name name of the sources journalists can usually count on the support of their editors and publishers when refusing to identity a confidential sources in many countries court upload uphold the uh, of the informal informal privacy agreement between a, a journalist and his her sources on the basis of right now right known as the protection of sources in the in the belief that the confidential nature of the journalist sources uh, source uh, relationship under 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 funds and the existence or existence accidents of a free press next is confidentially communication between a sources and a journalist can be go governed by a number of terms of use which have developed over time between journalists and their sources often government or or other high profile uh, sources as informal uh, assign agreements regarding how the information will be used and whether the identity of the sources will be protected these terms and may apply to entire conversation or only part some of the terms are clearly defined so experienced journalists and use them with the caution press pool press what is press pool press pool is prefers a group of news gathering organization pooling their resources in the collection of news 
again i will repeat what is press pool press pool is refers to a group of news gathering organization pooling their resources in the uh, collection of news a pool feed is that that then distribute distributed to members of the broadcast pool who are free to edit it and use it as they see it see fit in the case of print reporters are uh, uh, when uh, written pool report is distri uh, distributed to all members pool coverage is sometimes required because of the nature of the news events being covered for example judges will often allow only one broadcast camera in the in the courtroom during a trial as a result interested broadcast will select one of the their own to provide the pool camera for the day with the with that organizing organization ag agreeing to share the footage with the all other broadcast in the pool similarly a daily ro uh, rotating pool is the setup of the white house of organization organization that cover the president they are allowed to special access to a certain events with the understanding that is information and footage they will then be shared with the rest of the white rest of the uh, white house press crops so these are the we can say press pool next is attribution in news writing there is no easy answer as the when the how often you give in your story you represent attribution in print and broadcast news just as you do in normal speech the placement of attribution at the end of the sentence is fine for print where your eyes have a chance to review the facts of the sentence after you are informed the of uh, after you are the inform of the uh, attribution the broadcast audience does not have the luxury of the reviewing your news story from electronic media placing the attribution first in the broadcast news story makes a direct sentence of the law of audience of a uh, audience of a ch uh, chance to judge uh, source uh, credibility as the facts is here rather than uh, waiting of the delayed attribution in newspaper stories attribution should be placed after the text needing attribution in the broadcast story attribution goes first we have already answered one of the important questions surrounding attribution what where should it be placed so attribution goes after the text in the print stories it goes first in broadcast script the second question is when should attribution be used the easiest rule to remember when descending in attribution is necessary is a crime crime report always require attribution attribution demonstrates that you are relying on official sources for informing in your story it is irresponsible to use attribution when describing a crime to which is person's name link this is called attribution you should also include attribution in the story Impli implies blame is controversial had doubtful validity might be disputed might be uh, questionable when opinions are offered and direct and indirect questions these are the attribution so today we we have learned what is attribution and what is uh, and different things related to uh, writing so in the next less we uh, less in, in the next video we will we will learn what is on the record means and what the all of topics we have, will have to understand what we will what is press pool you already know what is press pool and what is uh, confidentiality so many topics we have learned today and important is topic ka it, it is pitfall problems in reporting which means we have today we have learned pitfalls and problem problem in reporting so we will continue this topic in the next video thank you